So Toby, these are our BP51s. So let me uh, take you through how to adjust these. Um, we've got both compression and rebound adjustment. The factory settings are supplied, so you've always got that as a reference to come back to. So if it's not doing exactly what you want or you just want to see what the range is like, I'd suggest softening it off first. And that enables the car to get moving and you can feel what's going on. Yep. So probably I'd, I'd even start by going all the way back to as soft as you can go. So just with the spanner. Yep. In this position, you've got the least amount of damping, so it's going to be at its softest. You're going to be able to feel the car moving, and from there, I think it's a matter of working out, is it, is it pushing in, yep. which is compression, or is it bouncing up too quickly, which is rebound. Right. Yep. So if you want to slow how quickly it's coming up, then you put a bit more rebound in it. If you think it's pushing through too far or bottoming, then you put a bit more compression into it. Yep. So it's as simple as basically the graph on the side of your shock here. It's yep. the smallest spot is the softest. The top a notch, then that goes to being a firm, hard setting. And that's yep. Gives you your most control. Most control then. And that's a great example. It is comfort or in the other direction it's control. So now that we've, we've got it back at zero basically and it's as soft as it's going to go. Yep. The car will be in its best condition to be moving around. So. Yep. So then look, how do we bring that back under control? So if it's pushing through when you're hitting bumps, it's getting too much energy as the as the car's compressing, then we whip compression up a bit. And, yep. and I'd suggest coming halfway up. So go from zero to five, and you will really notice the difference. Yep. If you've gone too far and it's too firm, you can always come back always a notch or back. two, you can come back to two or three. But then on the rebound as well, so that everyone always talks about compression going towards the ground, yeah. rebound is coming back up. So you still need to have that bit of control of the car not like actually bouncing or yeah. going, yeah, wallowing out and, and coming back at you pretty quickly. So yeah. I'd do the same then with rebound. So if you get the compression about where you want, you might even come back from five to say three, something like that, and you can yeah. feel that it's it's doing well. It's pushing through to give you a level of comfort, but in pushing through, it's putting energy into the spring. Yep. So yep. when you put that energy into the spring, that spring wants to then unload, unload yep. as, it, as it's coming back. So to control that unload, that's when we whack a little bit more rebound in there and so maybe do the same with that you know put that up to five to start with so let's get back over the triton and make a couple of adjustments there and get it working the way we want it a bit softer here oh yeah let's see how we go Best thing about it was that simple, that quick and easy, yeah. and like in all honesty, pick already, it straight away. Like you can feel that straight away that, it, that the actual shock is working a lot smoother, a lot easier for us right now. So it's a lot more pleasant to be in the car, really, isn't it? Yeah. Those small corrugation bumps now seem like they were before a lot harsher on the suspension, and that change it we've just now made, it, it just it honestly feels like a completely different car.